Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, heaven Godspeed. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule. Nos programs offer plusieurs langues. Veuillez visiter suprememastertv.com bar oblique schedule. Nuestros programas ofrecen varios idiomas. Visiten suprememastertv.com barra inclinada schedule. Rancangan kami menawarkan banyak bahasa. Sila kunjungi suprememastertv.com slash kataban schedule. Gwena Hunter's work includes a leadership role in the Los Angeles chapter of Vegan Outreach, a California nonprofit focused on ending animal people exploitation. Gwena Hunter's vegan, encouraging awareness and empathy for animal people. Please continue watching to learn about this kind-hearted woman's efforts to eradicate violence. Vegan. Peace be upon you, man. Assalamualaikum, meaning peace be with you, is how Muslims in Bangsamoro greet each other. It is an autonomous region in the southern Philippines dedicated to promoting peace and development. Cooperative viewers, my name is Miurad, and I am happy to be your host. The optimistic citizens of these provinces pray that you and your loved ones flourish in the reassuring safety of Allah. Welcome to our show titled, Gwena Hunter, Vegan, Encouraging Awareness and Empathy for Animal People. As soon as we are born into this world, our family begins conditioning us to feel think and act in ways that it approves of. In childhood and adolescence, the programming continues as society prescribes its rules and values. We continue being manipulated by myriad forces that we are unaware of until, by God's grace, we experience an awakening. Gwena Hunter is the founder of Vegans of LA and vegans for Black Lives Matter in Los Angeles, California, USA. She did not grow up on a plant-based diet and as a teenager thought that vegans were too extreme. But in her own way, she was searching for meaning and a closer relationship with the divine. Vegan linked a content creation and professional networking service based in the United States interviewed Miss Hunter in September 2021. She began by telling the story of how personal health issues led her to stop eating animal people meat. So I became vegan in 2016, but the journey started years ago. When I lived in Cleveland, I lived right up the street from a health food store, and I used to always go into this health food store and I would see vegan things, even though the word vegan wasn't really in my vocabulary. I had tried some vegan burgers, when I was probably about 14 years old and they taste like tires. Fast forward several years later, having issues with my digestion, I found that I was not able to digest cows. And so that journey started. I began with working on my health by eliminating cows and pigs from my diet. Then it was turkeys and chicken. And then the next thing I did, something called a Daniel's Fast with a friend of mine, where you abstain from eating anything from an animal. And the whole purpose of this diet was for me to manifest and be more in my power and be closer to God. What I found at the end of that 28-day Daniel Fast was that I felt absolutely amazing. I felt good. I looked good. I was in such a delightful mood all the time, and I said, wow. So I went on a vegetarian journey for about eight years. 
Never had anything to do with animals, just strictly about my health, and really still didn't know what I was doing. Miss Hunter's buddy was giving her clues that she was going in the right direction, but she did not yet see the bigger picture, the connection between her life as a human being and the lives of animal people. Fast forward to 2016, I'm living here in Los Angeles and I have a dream and in the dream I'm flying in the sky. I see this beautiful green pasture and in the pasture is this very beautiful cow. And the cow looks up at me and when we look at each other our eyes locked and we merged and we became one and I was the cow. I felt all of the cow's feelings, consciousness, love, childbirth, thoughts, feelings towards human beings. I was the cow. I felt everything, just like you feel yourself. And as I come out of the dream, I was crying and I was emotional because I had no idea that cows loved and that they were capable of love. What I felt from the cow was everything that I feel as a human being. I felt sadness, joy, fear love, compassion, the love they have for their children, the love they have for humans. And I feel this really warm sensation over my chest because I started questioning the reality of what I had just experienced. And even though I'm a believer, I'm also a skeptic. <laughs> I touched the spot where I felt the warmth and I was paralyzed with the most profound peace I had ever felt in my entire life. It was soft, it was warm, it was unconditional, it was gentle. It felt like I could have just left this plane and existed there forever. And I realized that what I felt was the cow letting me know that this was a real experience. So that shifted the way I saw reality because I realized that if cows love, so do chickens, so do pigs, so do turkeys, so do other animals. Vegan side effect. Hard to see any demons around. Have you ever had a dream that changed your life? I think the time is right for us to pause for a moment, close our eyes, and ask for forgiveness from those we may have hurt with our actions, words, or thoughts. There will be more for us to learn about Green Hunter in the second half. So please stay tuned to Supreme Master Television. Welcome back to our program, Queen Hunter Vegan. Encouraging awareness and empathy for animal people on Supreme Master Television. By gifting her with an inner vision, Heaven helped Miss Hunter expand her awareness and gave her proof that changing her diet had benefits beyond her physical well-being. Only one more step was needed before she gave up animal products altogether. And a few weeks later, I came across the video Dairy is Scary by Erin Janice. And when I saw how we obtain their milk and what we do to their bodies and how we treat them and how we take their children and put them into an oppressive situation, I realized that I would never consume dairy again in my life. So I've been on that journey and I realized that this was something that I wanted to do with my life, to wake up other people, to realize the oppression that we all put on each other, it's a cycle that we all go through. Miss Hunter's work includes a leadership role in the Los Angeles chapter of Vegan Outreach, a California nonprofit focused on ending animal people exploitation. She coordinates the distribution of free meals and groceries so more people can try out veganism. The activist is very clear about the link between the food on our plate and peace on earth. I feel like it is important for others to be vegan because being vegan is a way for us to end the cycle of violence on the planet. 
what we eat, we are participating in violence. If people were to take a look and see how the animals make it to the supermarket in these little lovely plastic containers and all you see is a leg and a breast or an organ in there, but if you actually saw the process and the fear in their eyes and what they go through, you would realize that you are participating in a cycle of violence. Unnecessary violence. One, there's no nutritional value in eating an animal. Yes, they tell you in school that that's how you get your protein, this is how you get your B12, but if you do the research, you will find that there's protein in almost every single plant that exists on the planet. What being vegan also does is it allows you to question things more and you start to see that you can't trust everything <laughs> that you were taught in school or that you were even taught in college because a lot of this information is really for the manipulation of your mind. You're being told and sold a story just for the purpose of monetary gain, just for the purpose of enslavement, just for the purpose of control. When talking about reasons to be compassionate toward all animal people, Miss Hunter's heart opens wide and reveals her inner perception. It's important <laughs> for others to go vegan because this is an entire new level of awakening. So if you want to take your reality to the next level, understand why veganism is important. And not just about diet, but also about spirituality, also about morality. Animals, to me, are so close to God because they don't have to be taught how to love. Most animals, especially dogs and cats, come to this planet and they know how to love unconditionally without anyone teaching them or telling them how to do it. So it's very important for us to become vegan. Our heartfelt gratitude, Queen Hunter, vegan, for your noble and inspiring dedication to animal people and humans. May you be blessed always with heaven's guidance and protection. For more information about Queen Hunter Vegan and her work, please visit facebook.com forward slash hunter.quena. When I read about the truth of the dairy industry in Yuval Harari's Sapiens, it shook me to the core of my soul. I decided from one moment to the next to go from vegetarian to vegan. Atelier Chantal Kaufman, vegan. Loving viewers, thank you for spending time with us today. Coming up next is satanic government tendencies and the escalating of war in Ukraine or Ukraine, part 4 of 4 on Between Master and Disciples, right after Noteworthy News. May the providence kindle joy in your mind and peace in your soul. Be vegan, make peace, do good deeds, hell not reach. Our programs offer many languages. Please visit suprememastertv.com forward slash schedule and suprememastertv.com forward slash gpgw.